I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. If you want to learn how to make more money with your indie films, subscribe now. Today I'm going to give you three tips for promoting your indie film on IMDb. But first off, let's talk a little bit about the importance of IMDb. Some will say that the star meter and user ratings there are nothing more than vanity metrics. But that's not entirely true especially if your movie is seeing any returns from Amazon Prime. IMDb is now owned by Amazon, and their algorithm does take IMDb metrics into consideration when calculating your CER and pay rate. Then there's also the fact that just about everybody in Hollywood uses it. The first thing most producers do when they meet a filmmaker? They look them up on IMDb. Yes, to some extent, they are vanity metrics, but the optics of your IMDb do matter. So let's get right to the tips. Number one, solicit your friends and family. Do this right away. As soon as your IMDb is live, ask your friends and family that have seen it to rate it and leave a fair review. Some might see this as juking the system, but I say as long as you're asking for honest feedback, there's nothing wrong with it. And the cool thing about IMDb promotion is you don't necessarily need them to do anything other than click on your page. Just the act of them going to your page and browsing is enough to push up your star rating. That said, it would be super nice if they were to leave a user review too. Now when it comes to the reviews, I typically remind people that The Godfather currently has a star rating of 9.2. So a 9 or a 10 rating for a super modest indie movie is probably not so realistic. Plus, IMDb's algorithm does seek out ingenuous reviews on both sides of the spectrum, good and bad, and it discounts them. While it's not really cool to ask people to rate you within a range, I typically ask people not to rate anything of mine over an 8. And the best way to solicit these type of early reviews is to direct message, text, or phone call. These are people you know. It's not like you're DMing strangers here. I usually get the best responses from my friends and family through texts or Facebook messages, but of course your mileage may vary depending on what you and your friends use to communicate. Use that. Some people will also enlist the cast and crew here, but again, I think that asking for honest feedback is essential. Number two, post, post, post. Hit your social media. Ask acquaintances and followers to share your posts. Again, be genuine, but make sure to let them know how important this is to the success of your film. When I have a new project hit IMDb, I hit it up everywhere. My personal pages, my company pages, everywhere. One place that's especially helpful to me are Facebook groups. Ones that are also applicable to your genre. Also, in the past, I've talked about how you shouldn't usually target filmmaking groups if your movie isn't about filmmaking. Well, IMDb promotion is an exception because there's no other group out there that will empathize more with this particular problem than filmmakers. But like I said before, make sure you're adding value to these groups and not just posting your link and splitting. It's okay to make those kind of posts occasionally, but just make sure you're mixing it up. Number three, hit up your local support. This tip came from another filmmaker I came across in a filmmaking group on Facebook. And I normally would put this in filmmaker tips, but it was so good, I wanted to make it a main tip. One good way to promote IMDb is to go to your hometown crowd, target local people, and make a video or a post asking for local support so that you can continue representing your city or state as a filmmaker. Local people love this. And this tip works for all kinds of promotion, not just the IMDb thing. Filmmaker tips from filmmakers. So I went into a few Facebook groups last week and subreddits and asked some other filmmakers for some tips on how they promote their IMDb's. Funny thing though, I usually get a ton of good responses for these questions, but on this particular topic, I really only got one well thought out response. So here it is. Facebook communities, give, 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 value, until you become someone others can't wait to help out. Then you can promote the link. I love this note. I actually talked about this in a previous video, how when you're promoting your stuff and you go into groups, you need to add value to that group. You need to become a contributing member of that community. 
comment on other posts, answer questions, ask other questions. Then once you build a little bit of trust there and you promote a link, you're going to have more success. And this tip also came from the same person that suggested the local promotion thing. Promoting IMDb can be tricky. They say one of the most important aspects of promotion is adding value for the customer. And the big question is what value does clicking on your IMDb give them? Think about this as you're designing your post to entice people to click. What's in it for them? If you want to learn how to make more money with your indie films, subscribe now. And for more tips and early access to my videos and movies, check out my Patreon. But whatever you do, keep making movies.